Hello everybody and welcome back. So today what we have going on, today is Tuesday, it's a beautiful day out. The sun is out, light breeze, oh boy, it's beautiful. So today what I have going on is I had to uh, clean up the hot tub, get it ready for winter, and I also, uh, we're thinking about selling it, so I had to get some pictures, so I had to get, uh, get her cleaned up and buttoned up, so to get some really good pictures. So what else I have is a friend of mine sent me this Maximilian, uh, Maximilian sunflower, hope I'm saying it right, and I need to plant it because uh, she sent it to me a while ago and I've just been kind of keeping it on water. So we need to plant this baby. So let me turn this around and we'll get it planted. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is make kind of a deep hole in our pot. You can see I made a V. The soil's kind of dry, so I put a little water in there and we need to put our starts in there. You can see there's uh, some green ones on there. I hope I'm planting this in there properly. Um, I'm not really sure. Oh, there's the orientation. So this is the top and we need to make our hole bigger. Okay, so I think I got her all situated and the roots are really starting to uh, get some sprouts on them. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, keeps popping up. Let's get them out in there. And then we're just going to uh, backfill this all nice and good because I, I really want to take this to Kentucky with this so that's why I'm not plant, planting it in the ground so um, I'm hoping it will stay survived <laughs> long enough yeah there we go so that looks pretty good what do you guys think and I think I got all the air space out pat it down real good so you guys can see it all right oh one's coming through that's okay she said it's really invasive so we'll just pat it down all right and then next we'll give it some water here yeah I know this soil is really dry make sure that we water her really good get it all watered up gonna need it and that'll take out all, all the um, if there's any space between the roots from dirt we don't want any air because we don't want any um, pest or, or anything getting to our roots so that's one good way to get all the air out give it a nice watering okay we got her all in there that looks pretty good and uh, next what I have to do is we need to water our beets now I know I haven't uncovered them fully um, in a couple of days, so you guys are in for a treat because they're getting big. Okay guys, so check these babies out. They're getting really big, they're doing very well, and they're actually not spaced out too bad. So I think we'll do, we'll do all right. There's a couple clusters here, but as you can see, looking down um, we got some pretty good orientation so we're gonna go ahead and give these guys a drink and then we're gonna cover them back up all right let's give these babies a drink oh no my thing's not working too hot there we go yeah I, uh, I'm really glad and surprised that I used that sleeping bag to cover them up at night because otherwise they probably wouldn't do as well. Okay, we got them all watered up and man, they are looking really good. These down here, I thinned them out, thinned them out a little bit. You can kind of tell. And uh, I think the spacing is pretty good. I mean, I really hope I get some that I can pickle. And yeah, they're looking really, really lush. Uh, and. At this stage, you can actually eat these leaves too. They're full of nutrients, but we're not gonna eat the tops. <laughs> we definitely want to create some bulbs. So, man, I really hope the weather holds off and we can get these babies uh, to where we can actually get something to harvest. 
yeah but i'm really i'm really excited about the um, progress that we're making and the second sheet of plastic guys has been working wonders look how tall those are i mean they're really tall so excited okay guys i'm gonna cover these back up thanks for watching and keep smiling